What's going on everybody? It's Dom from Lens Pro to Go and Lens Rentals and welcome back to the channel. I'm excited to bring you this week's video because it was a totally new one for me. This week's video, I'm going to take you behind the scenes of a music video I shot with a real stunt team. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the warehouse location that we shot in a little bit. I'm gonna talk about the gear that we used to shoot this stunt sequence. And of course, I'm gonna talk about the stunt team who are a super cool group of guys that were awesome to work with. So this is something that I actually worked on a couple of months ago, but now it's finally released. So I'll link to the music video in the description below. So with that being said, let's take you behind the scenes of a music video shoot with a stunt team. So the idea behind this music video is a grand gem heist and it's a great story of love and betrayal and of course at the end we get some forces that clash and it ends up in an epic fight scene. So I was obviously really excited to do this, but I quickly learned the challenge that I was in for. After talking with the stunt coordinator, he made it very clear to me that each one of these stunts takes a toll on their bodies and they can't simply just do a take over and over and over again. So there's a lot of pressure to get it right on the first or the second take. It was okay to do a third or maybe a fourth take, but after that is pushing it because after all, these guys are getting body slammed onto the ground with hardly any padding or no padding sometimes. So basically the whole production at this point is geared towards getting these stunt shots done in the least amount of takes possible. So before each one of these shots, I asked to do a slower speed run through with a stunt team. So I knew exactly how the shot needed to go before we did it. Because again, I did not want to be calling for an extra take because I missed framing or focus or something and put these guys through any extra pain. Although it was really fun to watch these guys work. So actually weeks before this shoot, these guys already practiced this whole stunt sequence in their stunt workshop, which side note, I think is so cool. And this makes me wanna do more legit stunt work like this, but I digress. So these guys and the participating cast are already totally familiar with these moves and what they have to do. And now it was just up to me to figure out how to capture it and in a limited number of takes. So this video was nearly entirely shot on Panasonic GH5s, but the warehouse shoot was shot on a Red Scarlet and a Canon CNE 50mm Prime. And I was skeptical about shooting on 50mm because I feared it was going to be a bit too tight and I wasn't going to be able to frame the fight correctly. And since we were in such a large space, I was pushing to go a little bit wider. But once we did that slower speed run through with the stunt team, I quickly realized that I had nothing to worry about because these guys were hitting their marks perfectly every time. We also had the camera mounted on an easy rig, which was super helpful, mainly because of all the rapid camera movements. We could have chosen a motorized gimbal for this, but sometimes I just prefer the simplicity of mounting the camera directly onto the easy rig Especially in this case, because I definitely did not want to be asking for another take because the gimbal was delayed or something. So in my opinion, the easy rig was the best option.
<laughs> so that's pretty much gonna wrap up this quick behind the scenes video of how I helped out on this music video shoot with a real stunt team. So before I wrap up this video, I wanna give a huge thank you to David Lavalley, the stunt coordinator from this stunt team, who aside from making all these stunts go super smoothly, taught me so much about stunt work. So huge appreciation there. And the biggest of thank yous to Ratish Sakar, the talented musician who wrote this song and conceived this music video, which I'll link to in the description below and you should definitely go check it out. So anyways, if you have any questions about how these stunts were done or any of the gear that we chose to shoot this stunt sequence with, drop a comment in the comment section and we'll start a discussion about how you would shoot a stunt sequence like this. Also, if you happen to like this video while you're down there, hit that thumbs up button. And most importantly, if you're not already, subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned in for more of our weekly content. And we'll see you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,